Namaste and peace and blessings. Thanks once again for joining me here today. In our yoga flow, I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are seated, may we ground and root our minds and our bodies, ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning they are not sunken. We have control of our bodies here. With our shoulders melted downward away from our ears, as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, if that feels good for us. As we breathe in deeply, hold the breath, exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum if that feels good for us. As we breathe in, exhale. As we relax in silent meditation for four natural breaths, Allowing the body to completely relax and soothe here. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Exhale. Allowing the palms to relax on the earth. Our fingertips are connected to the earth. With our chin slightly up, our heart chakra is open. May we take this time to simply connect with our environment. We have our hands connected to our yoga mat and we are feeling the energies around us. Simply being aware of what is going on without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may hear sounds, we may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. As we relax with two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing our palms to flow above our heads in our salute. Our fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Shoulders go upwards towards the ears. Our spinal cord is nice elongated here. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is slightly up. Breathe in. Interlacing our hands together. Point the finger points up towards the heavens. Exhale. Allowing our arms to flow slightly towards the back. We are feeling this slight back bend here. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Separating our palms. Our arms are separated here, yes. With our energies flowing up towards the heavens. We are channeling in and we are channeling out. Bringing in anything positive and hopeful channeling in anything that is serving and good for us. Two breaths. Exhaling down to prayer, bringing our palms together as we flow to our prayer hands. Palms are at heart center. Taking a moment to notice how we feel in our shoulders and the upper parts of our bodies. You may notice that by simply having our palms up in the air, we were able to Feel a little burn there. That just goes to show that simply being in a position and not doing much can have an effect on a body in a positive way. As we breathe our palms back up in the air and our salute, feeling that stretch, exhale a prayer. Now on our hands to flow to the side as we come back up to that salute, feeling a circle of rotations here. Salute, exhale a prayer. Flowing back to that salute.
come into our prayer. Feeling the movements here. Exhale to salute. Palms are up in the air. Fingertips reach towards the heavens. Breathe in. Exhale to our seated star, slightly bringing our palms apart. We are in our star pose. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. We are a star. Tummy's nice and tight, spinal cord is nice and long. Feel in the pose here. Two breaths. Breathe in. Twist our bodies towards the right, lower our palms down. Exhale as we softly gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist here, relaxing and soothing our spinal cord. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that star. Breathe in. Twisting our bodies towards the left, lowering our palms down as we exhale, gazing over that left shoulder. Building this final twist, opposite side. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. As we flow to that salute, palms above the head. Exhale into prayer. Relaxing the palms that heart center as we are going inward. Taking a little moment to just simply notice how we are feeling right here, right now, in this present moment. Whatever it may be, may we take notice without judgment. Simply being aware simply noticing. As we breathe our arms out towards the side, yes, palms are facing down or palms are facing upward. Whatever feels best for you, as we do circular rotations here, we're gonna to continue to work on the upper parts of our bodies. And in our circular rotations, may we go nice and small or maybe go nice and big. Whatever feels good for you, going as fast or as slow as you choose, Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, as we rotate our arms in the opposite direction. Feel in the movements here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We may be already feeling a burn. Slow movement has an impact. Slow is better than nothing at all. Finding our pause as we breathe our palms up to our salute, palms are above the head, interlacing our hands together. Our point of finger points up towards the heavens as our arms flow towards the back, gazing our eyes down if that feels good for us. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. This is a slight back bend, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. We are back in our salute as we breathe down to our prayer. Relax in the body. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose, ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart, our elbows are straight. As we drop down to our cow, chin is slightly up. Taking a moment to notice how this cow pose feels in the back, in the lumbar part, the lower parts of the back. Maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Two breaths. Exhale to cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cow. And maybe we can do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're going to bring our right leg out towards the back. We're going to work on balancing and building strength here. 
if all feels well and our body feels balanced, maybe we can bring that left hand forward here in our sunbird pose here. Our tummy's nice and tight. And if we choose, we can always lower our right toes downward towards the earth, giving us a little bit more balance if needed. But whatever feels good for you, we're gonna balance and build strength for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Hanging out here, two more breaths. Exhale to our table. As we drop down to our pile. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we sunburn opposite side, bringing that left leg out towards the back, nice and high, feeling that stretch. If all feels well, bringing that right arm forward. We are in our full sunburn. As we are gazed forward, we are building strength here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird. Hanging out here, two more breaths. Flow into our table, rocking down to our cow, flow into our cat. Exhaling back to our table as we push our bodies up on our knees. We are in a kneel position. Just taking a moment to notice how we feel as we bring our hands to the lower parts of our back. We are working on a camel prep here. So with our hands on the lower parts of our backs, maybe our fingertips are facing downward towards our buttocks. Maybe slightly lean our backs towards our feet, yes. And if we choose, we can allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our camel prep pose here. We're gonna simply hang out here and notice how this feels within our bodies before natural breaths. Two more breaths. And if we're able, maybe we can bring our palms together, allowing our hands to fall downwards behind our buttocks if we're able. Noticing how that allows us to go deeper in our camel prep. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to our knees as we come on down and sit inside of the top pose. Bringing our toes down towards the earth. Our heart chakra is connected to the yoga mat. Maybe our third eye chakra, our forehead is also connected to the yoga mat. As we hang out here, relax in our child's pose of puppy pose. Simply just taking a moment to notice how we feel in our lumbar spine, our lower backs. Noticing how we felt inside of our camel prep pose. As we take a nice deep breath in, hold the breath, exhale. Gaze in the eyes down or close in the eyes. As we relax and go inward and checking in with our bodies for five natural breaths. Mm. Mm. Three more breaths. Extending our palms in front of us if they were not already finding our bodies in the extended child's pose or puppy pose. With our palms flat on the earth, may we spine away our bodies out of this pose by using our palms to push our bodies forward and using our palms to push our bodies 
We are spider waving here. Tummies are nice and tight. Two more breaths. We are working and soothing that spinal cord. Finding our pose, we're going to come back to our take a position. Dropping down to our chest. Add pose to our chest. Flowing back to our table. As we come back up on our knees. Yes, we're going to work on a half camel. We're going to bring our palms back to our lower backs. We're going to allow our torso to fall towards our feet. Maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Allowing the shoulders to completely melt towards the back. Simply getting lost in this pose. Two breaths. And if all feels well, maybe we can take that right hand and connect the right hand to the right heel of the foot. Now we are in our half panel. Allowing our heads to relax between our shoulder blades. This camel pose here is a deep back bend. May we hang out here in this half for three more breaths. Two more breaths, reaching your arm up in the air if you choose for fun. Exhaling back up to our kneel position, placing our palms on the lumbar parts of our backs, the lower parts of our backs. Just checking in to notice how we feel. If all feels well, we're going to slightly lean towards the back again in our camel press. Two more breaths. And if all feels well, maybe we can take our left hand now, connecting our left hand to our left heel. And I want our bodies to lean towards the back here in our half camel. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Three more breaths. Two more breaths, lifting our arm up in the air for fun if you choose. Exhaling back up for a kneel position as we flow back down to a child's pose or puppy pose, taking a moment to relax the body. Torso flows between the thighs, chest is on the earth as we bring our third eye chakra, our forehead to the earth. Using this time to relax and go inward. May we hang out here for five natural breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Three more breaths. As we flow into an extended child's pose or puppy pose, if we were not already there, with our palms flat on the earth, slightly gazing forward, as we rock our bodies from side to side, we're simply just working on our hips, our inner thighs here. As we find our pose, maybe spider away our bodies out of this pose, palms are on the earth, using the palms to push our bodies forward, using our palms to push our bodies towards our heels. Feeling our spinal wave here, feeling this in our entire spinal cord, especially if we move our neck in a rotation. So maybe simply have a little fun here and relax the body in our spinal wave, ensuring that our tummies are tight as we are waiting. And if we choose, we can even rotate our bodies at our hips. We want to start from the with our hips. Keeping our tummies tight, you'll feel this here in the lower parts of your back. And maybe we can do circular rotations with our head. Something mm -hmm. else is like this here. So simply just being on the floor and just moving and wiggling the body. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. 
As we find our home, I'm going to take a look at position right now. Slightly forward, elbows are straight as we fall down to my palm. Exhale into cat. Coming back to our table as we lift our right arm up towards the heavens. Still in that stretch, right arm up in the air. As we gaze up at our right fingers, Feel the next breath as we breathe in. Exhale, thread the beat, right arm press through the left. Right chakra comes downward towards the earth. Shoulder blades melt into the earth, into the yoga mat as our eyes gaze down the floor. And if we choose, we can wrap our left arm around our backs here in our thread the needle. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Going back to our table. As we take that left arm, reach the left arm up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, gazing up at our left fingers. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm press through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. We are connecting with our environment. Gazing our eyes down or closing them. We can wrap our right arm around our backs if we feel, or we can bring that arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Whatever feels good for you, thread the needle as we relax and soothe here and go inward for five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, may we unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to our paw. Exhale into cat. Flow into our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Tummies are nice and tight. Pushing our torso towards our thighs to get that nice deep stretch if we choose. As we walk our dog by pedal on our feet, we are building strength here in our down dog. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, shifting our weight slightly forward, finding our bodies in our high plank, building strength. We can drop down to our knees or low, or low plank, if that feels good for us. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back down, dog. Breathe in. Exhale. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, finding our paws, lifting our right leg in the air, three legged dog, gazing back at our foot. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Exhaling down dog, coming on down to our forearms, coming into a dolphin. Gazing, gazing back at our feet. Noticing in our dolphin, our buttocks is high in the air. 
Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide lady child's pose or puppy pose, four breaths. Breathe in, exhale, two more breaths. Flowing into that extended child's pose or puppy pose if you are not already there. As we spine away our bodies out of this position, finding our bodies back in our table, Pressing our bodies back to our damn dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our dog, our pedal on our feet. Finding our pause, three-legged dog, left side, bringing that left leg in the air. Exhale, left, left knee to left elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged, knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Going back to our down dog, shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank or low plank. As we slow down to our chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Slowing down to a sphinx pose. We are on our forearms here in our sphinx pose. We are flat with our tummies. Our shoulders are melted away from the ears, having control of our torso here. The sphinx pose is a slight back bend. As we breathe in, exhale. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Taking a moment to notice how this Sphinx pose is a relaxing pose as well. <sighs> as we use this time, as we use this time to simply go inward and self-reflect for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale. As we flow to our baby cobra, bringing our palms closer towards our torso, our chest. Baby cobra, our elbows are bent and our torso is slightly away from the earth. We are in our baby cobra. This is a slight back bend. As we flow to our cobra, straightening out our elbows a little more. We are in our cobra pose. As we flow to up dog, in our up dog, our thighs are off the earth. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is open. Maybe allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at our feet. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Yes, just taking a moment to notice how this feels, runner's lunge. As we straighten out that front leg, coming into a pyramid, yes. Allowing the torso to relax over that thigh. Breathe in, exhale. Gaze in the eyes, down or closing the eyes. Noticing how this is a nice stretch behind our thighs. It's also a relaxing pose. Then we hang out here for four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale, bending that front knee, coming back to that runner's lunge. Breathe back, down dog. Walk 
walking out with dogs by pedaling our feet. Finding our pause as we breathe our left foot towards our left hand. Honest lunge out the side. Taking a notice of how this feels. As we straighten out that left leg, coming into a pyramid, opposite side. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. Breathe in. Exhale. May we relax and super here in our pyramids for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bend in that front knee. Breathe in. Exhale, down dog. As we pedal our feet by walking, as we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, tummy's nice and tight. Finding our paws as we walk our feet towards our hands, finding our bodies to make a feet forward fold. Allowing the head to completely relax downward here, noticing that this is a full body stretch. May we allow our bodies to relax and soothe here. And if we choose, we can flow into a rag doll if that feels comfortable for us by bringing our hands, hovering our hands over our elbows and allowing our head to relax. We can even sway our bodies from side to side in our rag doll. Maybe Yogi walking our feet slightly apart if we're gonna sway because we wanna keep our balance here. Whatever we decide to do here in our complete forward fold or rag doll, may we relax here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. If we're in our rag doll, flowing back to that complete forward fold, Exhale into half, forward fold. Breathe back down to complete forward. Exhale into half. As we flow to our Tadasana, bringing our palms and our side. Maybe we can Walk our feet, walk our legs, moving our legs from side to side. Just working on our hips here. Finding our paws, we are in our Tadasana. As we breathe our palms above our head in our standing salute. Fingertips are together, feeling that stretch. Maybe we can interlace our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens and allowing our bodies to slightly lean towards the back. This is the tight back bend. Three breaths. Exhale back to center. As we flow to an extended mountain, in our extended mountains, our palms are separated. In our standing salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. Yes, so take it a moment to notice the difference between the two. With our heart chakra open and our chin slightly up, may we breathe our body towards the right, coming into a standing crescent moon, building this side bend here. Yes, maybe we can gaze up at the heavens at our fingertips, opening up their heart chakra a little more. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, crescent moon opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens, at the hands, if that feels good. Three breaths. Exhale into center as we flow to our standing salute. Breathing to our standing prayer. Relaxing our body here in our prayer. Allowing our shoulders to melt downwards, away from the ears. Allowing the upper part of our bodies here to completely relax. 
with our palms at heart center. May we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, if that feels good for us, as we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Allowing our bodies to soothe, allowing our feet to ground us to the earth with our bodies, our head connected to the heavens. We are heaven, we are earth. We are here, we are there, we are anywhere. We are connected all around us. And maybe we can take this time to simply go inward and just take a notice of who we are and how we are and what we feel. And whatever thoughts, situations, judgments come to mind, maybe be aware of what's going on within without judgment. Hanging out here in our standing prayer, relaxing and going in with five natural breaths. Mm -hmm. Three more breaths. As we breathe in, exhale, hinging at the hips, keeping our palms at heart center. We are in our half forward fold, noticing how this half forward fold feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. With our eyes still gazed down the floor here in our prayer hands, three more breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, coming into that chair pose, and we can keep our palms at heart center if we choose, or we can extend our palms above in the air in our extended chair. Whatever feels good for you, four breaths. We are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms at heart center, if they were not already there, Exhale into a chair twist, right side. Gazing at our fingertips, two breaths. Exhale into center, chair pose twist, opposite side. Exhale center, two breaths. Breathe complete forward fold, relax in the body. Noticing how this complete forward fold is a counter pose to what we just did. As we breathe in deeply, exhale. With our eyes gazed down to close, may we hang out here in its forward fold for four more breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Exhale, half forward fold. Breathe back, complete forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, bringing our feet towards the front, and I would get go to the side. As we gaze back at our feet, maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. As we walk, I would go with our pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our pause as we breathe our right foot towards our right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second, we're gonna bring that right arm inside of that right thigh, yes. And we're gonna come on down to our knee, just for a second. We're gonna work on a lizard pose. And if this feels good, we can actually come down deeper in our lizard coming onto our forearms. We can also have a yoga block in front of us and be in our lizard. This lizard pose is a hip opener here. So as we position our bodies to feel comfortable, we're gonna work on opening up our hips. This lizard pose also prepares the body for a split. So may we hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. 
pushing our torso slightly away from the earth, taking our knee off the earth if it was already there. As we breathe, our right arm up towards the heavens, reaching those fingertips towards the sun. The next stretch, we are in our revolved twist. It's called the revolved twist because our torsos are twisted towards our thighs. Arms are up in the air as we gaze at our fingertips, if that feels good. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, bringing that hand inward. Yes. As we twist our bodies to the opposite side, we are now in our low lunge twist. Bringing that left arm up in the air, feeling that twist, gazing up at our fingertips. We're gonna hang out here for four breaths. Two more breaths. We are building strength here. Breathe in. Exhale, both palms are flat on the earth. As we float back to that down dog. Yes. Head on our feet as we walk our dog. Maybe slow on down to our knees, coming into a child's pose or puppy pose. Taking this moment to relax and soothe our bodies. Bringing our heart chakra towards the earth. Bringing our third eye chakra, our forehead towards the earth. As we gaze our eyes down, maybe we can bring our palms into prayer hands as we go inward for five breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Three more breaths. As we flow into an extended child's pose, puppy pose, by bringing our palms, our arms in front of us here. As we spinal wave our bodies out of this position, finding our bodies back in our table. Mm. Knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale, left foot to left hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second, we're gonna bring that left hand inside of that thigh. We are working on our lizard pose here. We can drop down to our knee if we choose. We can hang out here in our lizard or we can come on down to our forearms using a block in front of us under our forearms if that feels good for us. Lizard pose prepares the mind and body for split. May we hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out of that lizard, pushing our torsos away from the earth, taking our knee off the earth if it was there. As we twist our bodies towards the left, Left arm goes up towards the heavens, filling that stretch. We are in our revolved twist opposite sides, gazing at our fingers. Four breaths. Two more breaths. We are building strength here. Breathe in. Exhale that hand inward. As we twist our bodies to the opposite side, low lunge twist, right one goes up towards the heavens, gazing at the right fingers, if that feels good for us. Feeling that stretch, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Pushing our bodies back to our down dog. Walking our dog as we drop our dog and coming onto our forearms, 
Our buttocks is hot in the air as we're gazing back at our feet. Three more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming to a child's pose of puppy pose. We're gonna hang out here, relaxing the body for six breaths. Allowing our heartbeat to relax, allowing our heartbeat to regulate and soothe here. Four more breaths. Maybe we can reach our hands back towards our feet, noticing how this feels in our child's pose. Two more breaths. We're gonna do a bonus here of two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Extending our arms in front of us, finding our bodies in our extended child's pose, puppy pose. As we spine away wave our bodies out of this position, finding our bodies back from our table, dropping down to our palm, exhaling to cat. As we cross our feet, just a second. We're gonna flow on towards our backs here. Yes, coming on to our backs, bringing our knees to chest, hugging our knees into our chest, allowing our torso to relax into the earth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Allowing the body to completely relax here. Maybe gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. As we take a notice of how we feel in this very moment, allowing the shoulder blades to melt backwards into the earth, allowing the mind and body to completely soothe, relaxing anything and everything to find our relaxation here. Two more breaths. As we breathe in, exhale. Now when our knees to fall towards the left, we find spinal twist, feeling the spinal cord relax and soothe here. And maybe we can take our right arm and bring it out towards the side like a T as we gaze over that right arm or gaze up at the heavens. Our shoulder blades are melted into the earth. Maybe our eyes are closed or relaxed down, but our bodies feel soothed and relaxed. As we hang out here and go inward for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we exhale back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in, hugging ourselves showing ourselves a little self-love, gratitude, and appreciation. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our knees to fall towards the right. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. 
taking that left arm out towards the side like a T. As we gaze over that left arm or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels best for you. With our eyes gazed down and closed, may we relax in our reclined twist for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Extending our legs up in the air. We are on, we are in our legs on the wall pose. As we point our toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that point, pointing the toes, we are in our plantar flex. We are pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Yes, feeling that arch in our foot. Two more breaths. As we dorsiflex our feet, bringing our toes towards our bodies. Yes, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale back to that plantar flex. Flexing those toes towards the heavens, feeling that arch in our foot, in our feet. Two breaths. Exhaling our toes towards our bodies. We are in our dorsiflex here. Two breaths. Exhale, reaching our hands down to the lower parts of our legs as we bring our legs towards our torso. Building this full body stretch, our buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Exhaling our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose as we allow our knees to come towards our torso, flowing into our happy baby. Knees towards chest as our hands come between our thighs. Coming outwards as we connect our hands to our feet. Yes, happy baby. This here is a slight hip opener. It's also a relaxing and soothing pose. And we can even rock our body from side to side in our happy baby and use the earth to relax and soothe our spinal cord. <sighs> our happy baby is a nice deep hip opener. We can even go deeper by taking our left leg over our left shoulder. This pose is called the shoulder press. And then we take our opposite leg over the opposite shoulder. And we're in our shoulder press. Of course, we can go deeper, bringing our feet behind our head, flowing into a pretzel. So whatever pose you choose to do here in our happy baby on the floor, may we relax and soothe and freestyle in any pose that feels good for you for six natural breaths. <clears throat> Three more breaths. <clears throat> Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. As we slowly come out of that happy baby, bringing our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose. And down, connecting our hands to our lower legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. This is a full body stretch, legs to body. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to legs on the wall as we bring our knees into our chest, crossing our feet at our ankles, making our tummies nice and tight, doing a tummy crunch here as we push our bodies up, hovering for a second, feeling that tummy crunch. Hovering, 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 yes. Feeling that burn here in our tummy. We are preparing our bodies for a boat pose, but we're gonna hover here for a couple breaths. 
working our core, our, our abdominal muscles. Two more breaths. Hanging out here with our feet still crossed. We're gonna pulse our bodies, bringing our hands from side to side here, yes. This here works the obliques as well as, as the abdominal muscles. This here works the obliques as well as the abdominal muscles. <sighs> so we're gonna feel a burn. We're gonna work on our core for four more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> We're gonna do a bonus here. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, connecting our hands to our feet. Yes. Playing with our feet for a second as we flow to our boat pose. Legs are parallel with our hands, but we can straighten out those legs. Whatever feels best for you, boat pose. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Core is nice and tight. Two breaths. Feeling a burn here. Almost there, we can do it. Reaching our hands towards our feet. Bringing our feet towards our hands. Backs, our spiny cords are nice and straight here. Having control of that spinal cord, straightening out our spinal cord. Yes. Tummy's nice and tight as we extend that left foot towards the side, working on our boat pose variation. Feeling a stretch behind our legs here and our hamstrings. Yes. Keeping that back straight. If we should bend our backs, we may fall over. So keeping that back nice and tall. <sighs> Two more breaths. Bringing that leg back in as we extend that right leg out towards the side, feeling that stretch here behind our legs and our hamstrings. Keeping our backs nice and tight, tummies, keeping our backs nice and long, tummies are nice and tight here. Three more breaths. Extending that leg back down, bringing that leg back in, what shall I say? As we take that left leg out towards the side, and if we're able, taking that right leg out towards the side. We can bend our knees as an option if that feels better for us. Bending the knees is a perfect way to do it as well. Or we can keep both legs straight and our legs are in a V. And if we choose, we can come into a wide-legged V. Extending those legs apart further and further, feeling that stretch. Three breaths, let's make it four. Two more breaths. As we slowly close the legs, bringing the legs, and we're closing that V slightly. Tummies get tighter and tighter. Three breaths. Breathe in those legs, and with feet connecting, come into a bound position. We are going to come into a diamond or a butterfly. Our feet are connected. Spinal cords are nice and long. Heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up, maybe allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. Finding our bodies in a cow here. We are in our seated cow. As we hang out here in this cow for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Noticing how this feels, three breaths. Exhale back to center. We are in our diamond or our butterfly. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. In our diamond, our feet are further away. So taking a moment to notice which one feels best for you in your hips and your inner thighs. As we connect our hands to our feet and slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at our hips, we go deeper into this hip. Maybe we can breathe in. Exhale. Gaze in our eyes down or the hold in our eyes. Allows our torso to go closer towards our feet, towards the earth. And maybe we allow our head to completely relax downward towards our feet. As we hang out here in this butterfly or diamond forward fold for five breaths.
Three more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Using our hands to bring our legs inward. We're gonna straighten our legs out coming into that staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Our backs are nice and straight here. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears as we breathe our palms up and our salute. Feeling that stretch, shoulders reaches up towards the ears. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is open. <sighs> Interlacing our hands together. Point of finger points up towards the heavens as we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Exhale and back to center as we breathe down to our prayer. Exhale into our half forward fold. Maybe we can allow our hands to reach down to our ankles. And if this feels well, maybe flow into a complete seated forward fold. Maybe connecting our hands to our lower feet, to the bottoms of our feet, if we're able. And breathing our torso downward towards our thighs. Gazing our eyes down and closing our eyes. And hanging out here and relaxing and soothing. And maybe we can bring our feet downward in a plantar flex, pointing our toes downward towards the earth. Allowing the body to feel this complete body stretch here. Maybe hang out here for five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale into half as we flow back up to our stand pose. Rolling our shoulders, lifting our shoulders up towards the ears and rolling them towards the back. Noticing how this feels. Shoulder rotations, lifting the shoulders up towards the ears, rolling them towards the back. May we do three more rotations. As we find our pause, just checking in with our bodies. Maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Spinal cords nice and long, tummies nice and tight. As we are using this staff pose to go inward here and focus on self for four breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming back onto our tabletop, coming back into that tabletop pose just for a second. Yes. Dropping down to our thighs. Exhaling to our calves. Flowing back to our table. As we drop down on our tummies, we're going to come into a space pose, just relaxing our body down. Maybe we'll flow into a baby cobra first, elbows a bit, as we flow into our space pose. Now we're on our forearms. We just want to let together. Yeah, so in our space pose, this is a slight back bend. Our shoulders are melted away from the ears so that they have a control of our body. Gaze in our eyes down our whole body. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we allow our bodies to fall down, flowing into a flowing into a Superman, Supergirl. Torsos on the earth, our arms close forward, palms are off the earth, our legs are also off the earth. This is a tight back bend, Superman, Supergirl. Noticing how this feels. <sighs> we are working the body here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. And maybe we can act like we're flying in the future. We can have some fun here in our Superman, Supergirl. As we find our pose, warming our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose, flipping our palms upwards towards the head. 
our legs, our feet are still up here. We are in our locust pose. This is also a slight function. Chin is slightly up, but copper is off here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Holding our position exactly the way we are, we're gonna relax our bodies down. Shoulders melt forward, chest melt forward. We're gonna relax on our full back We simply hang out here and two, four breaths. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale. Shoulders melt forward here into the air. We're relaxing on our third eye top. Our forehead. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken out of that sleep pose, we're going to go back up to that low Yeah, lifting our torso, lifting our feet off the earth, filling it like that baby, or getting forward. Start chop is open, shoot it up. Two more breaths. As we flow into a half bow, connecting that right hand towards that right ankle. We are in our half bow. And if this half bow feels good, maybe flow into our full bow, taking that left hand to the left ankle. Now, if we can't flow into the full bow, we'll do the right side and then the left side. We're going to hang out here in our bow, doing a full bow or half bows. Five breaths. Three more breaths, switching sides if you want one half bows. <sighs> Two more breaths. This is a nice deep back bend. Exhale down, relax in the feet, relax in the hands. As we swim our hands forward, we're gonna bend our elbows in. We're gonna stack arms on top of each other. We're gonna relax and rest our bodies on our cheeks, our chin, or our forehead. Allowing the torso to melt forward into the yoga mat as we gaze our eyes down. Closing our eyes if that feels good. As we are going inward and checking in. Five natural breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Three more breaths. As we slowly awaken out of that sleep pigeon, coming on to our forearms and our sphinx pose, yes. Lifting our torso slightly away from here, here, in our sphinx pose, on our forearms. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we bring our hands towards our torso, flowing into that cobra, baby cobra, pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. As we push our bodies up to that cobra, straightening out those elbows, flowing to our hands and our knees here. We are back in our table, dropping down to our cow, exhaling to our cat, flowing back to our table as we come into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. We're gonna bring, we're gonna bring our heart chakra towards the earth. Maybe bringing our third eye chakra, our forehead towards the earth. 
noticing how we feel as we connect to the environment. Going inward and soothing. Finding comfort and finding peace here in our child's pose, puppy pose. Taking a moment to notice what is going on within. Listening to the silence, being aware of the silence, Enjoying the sound. May we find our comfort for eight natural breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose. Spine and waving our bodies out of this position. Crossing our feet and our ankles as we find our bodies in a seated pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you. I am going to come into a cow face. Now that we found our seated position, maybe we can assure that our tummies are tight. Our spinal cords are nice and long. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, maybe. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.